So, good afternoon. Um, again, we're going to talk about slope of a line. Uh, actually, this is the first time we talk about slope of a line. I kind of hinted on it in our last video when I talked about steepness. So, uh, slope, a lot of times it's, de it's denoted by the letter M in algebra. So, if you see that letter M, a lot of times it's going to refer to the slope of the line. A definition of slope is, it basically describes the steepness of a line. Okay? Uh, for us, a lot of times, uh, we think about steepness, you know, like the, a hill. A hill has a steepness, or a mountainside has a steepness, if you talk about skiing. Uh, and you kind of think of a mountainside, there are steep mountains. Uh, if you've ever gone skiing, I've kind of stayed on the bunny slopes where I didn't have much uh, steepness at all. So, slope, a lot of times you'll hear that word associated with steepness, mountains and stuff, and they have that kind of slant to them. Uh, in math, uh, since we're talking about more specifically about this coordinate plane and coordinates, it's going to describe the steepness of our line. So, slope is going to be what we call the change in y values over the change in x values. Sometimes it's denoted as rise over run, because again, rise, just like the sun does, the sun kind of goes up and then it kind of goes down. So, the uh, rise kind of implies the y direction. Meanwhile, running, you kind of run, you kind of run forwards and backwards, or you can run left or right. So the run kind of implies this x direction movement, more left to right concept. So if I want to determine the slope of this line, what you have to identify are two points that are on the line. And that change in those y values and, the, and that change in those x values is, is, is uh, describing what we call the slope of the line. So if I start this point here, notice that what I'm doing is figuring out how much it rises, so I can kind of figure out if it rises up. Looks like it went from here up to here. Looks like it rises up too. And then it runs over to this spot. So it's a run of, looks like a run of three. So what I can do is write that as a fraction or ratio. The ratio of these two numbers describes our slope. So it rose up two and it ran over three. So our slope is two thirds. So it's the change in those y values over the change in the x values. And that's, a lot of times you can just look at it from the graph. Now, there is a mathematical formula for this. If you're given two points, point one is denoted as x1, y1, and point two is denoted as x2, y2. So the x coordinate of the first point, y coordinate of the first point, where this is the, this, the x coordinate of the second point and the y coordinate of the second point. So slope can be found by, again, change implies subtraction. If you're trying to find the change between two numbers, like what's the change in a, a 5 and a 3, the change in 5 and 3 would be a 2, and that actually is a subtraction problem. So when I talk about this change, that's going to apply that we subtract those y values, and on the bottom we're going to be subtracting those x values to find their change. So if I identify 3, 0 as point 1, so if 3, 0 is point 1, and... Um, 0, 2 is point 2. What I can pick up on is this is your x1, this is your y1, this is your x2, and this is your y2. So in my formula, my slope can be calculated as y2 minus y1, so 2 minus 0. And on the bottom, I should have... Um, zero, I'm sorry, x2 minus x1, so zero minus three. Let's see here, something's not quite right. Oh, that wasn't it. That was actually a negative three, wasn't it? So I have a negative three zero. So zero minus a negative three. That's making better sense to me. So that was actually a negative three zero. So if my point 1 is negative 3, 0, and my point 2 is 0, 2, I can then use y2 minus y1, 2 minus 0. x2 minus x1 is going to be 0 minus negative 3. So we see that the top is going to be uh, just 2. On the bottom, we know that 0, and when you see that opposite of a negative 3, that means 0 plus 3. Therefore, we have 2 over 3, and we do indeed get our, our 2 thirds that way. So slope can be calculated... Um, two different ways. If I know the 
points, I can graph the points and identify that rise and run, or I can actually use a mathematical formula to determine the slope. So there are a couple options here. We kind of will explore those as we go on. Also notice that this line, if I'm going from left to right, is kind of going up. We call that a positive slope. So this line here is said to have a positive slope. A lot of times, what I'll associate this with is a, a little hiker, a little backpack. So I got a little hiker with a backpack. My little hiker, if he's going uphill, that's considered a positive slope. You know, some people got and call this guy Fred uh, back in the day. So if Fred is going uphill from left to right, that is referred to as a positive slope. If you want those visuals, that may be useful to you. Okay. So this line would have what we call a positive slope, and it would be because notice the number is a positive number. Two-thirds is actually a positive value. Let's see what else we come up with. Stay tuned.